What's up, guys? It's boy Jay from Jay's Films. Now, I just watched Infinity War Marvel Avengers last night, and I got really motivated on making this tutorial. Now, this is the disintegration without giving any spoilers effect. I'm going to be using After Effects 2018 without any plugins, just using the built in plugins. But if people are interested, I can probably make one with Trap Code particular because it looks a lot better. So let's go ahead and import our footage. This is our disintegration, disintegration effect from Marvel Infinity Wars. Now, the way they did it, probably, they probably made a 3D version of their characters and then did it that way. But what we're doing is this 2D. So we got here an Avenger. He's going to be in the next movie. This one is, uh, he's actually called Rice Man. And uh, I'm not going to give any spoilers away, but yeah. So we got Rice Man here. And what we're going to do is just split to the time where we want him to disintegrate. Let's just say right there. And then we're going to do Control Shift D. That's just going to split the layer. And I have, uh, towards the end, I have the backdrop. Now you can green screen yourself and it's probably a little bit better, but you, you're going to see Rice Man just stepping out of frame here super fast. That's just one of his superpowers, just really fast. Um, we're going to Control Shift D there as well. And then what we're going to do is right click time freeze frame this is going to create a stills out of that frame there so i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop that towards my timeline line it up with you know when he has his arms together like this and then what we're going to do is go ahead and freeze frame this as well now if you want to look if you want it to look a little bit better you can rotoscope a couple of seconds but for just the sake of this we're going to freeze frame this right here and like i said if you green screen this it would have been better but yeah so we're going to do it this way and we're going to take our top layer, we're going to rotoscope it right. I'm just going to do a real dirty rotoscope here, guys, so we can keep this short and sweet. Yeah, hope uh, a lot of people like the movie. It's uh, pretty good, pretty interesting, and really just sparked an idea on teaching you guys. Because I know a lot of people are going to be, uh, you know, emotional after watching this movie. So I was like, hey, you know, might as well teach them how to do this so that they can feel a little bit better. So we're going to feather that just a little bit. Okay, we're going to go ahead and save this. 823, whatever. So we have this now, and it should, if you play it, it should go to that still, and that should be there for a long time. So we have three layers so far. This one is just a picture, the rotoscope picture. The second one is just the plate, and then the third one is just the backdrop. This is just the blank freeze frame that we did. So put it all together. There you go. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is going over to our top layer, which is the one that we wrote a scope. We're going to go to effect, or if you want, you just go to the right side, CC, uh, scatter. I'm pretty sure, yeah, scatter. Scatterize. You're going to go there. Perfect. We're going to go twirl down the settings here. Jesus, I haven't worked after effects in so long. I actually miss it. Wow. Uh, click on effects. CC scatter ice. We're going to click the time watch scatter set that to zero is fine And we're going to move a couple of seconds. What, what second are we? We're in five seconds. So Maybe I'm going to scroll in. Let's go to maybe seven seconds. That's like two seconds And then we're going to do I don't know like depending on how fast you want this But just for example, we'll do like 450 And there you go rice man is dice man he is gone just like that right and i know that looks like crap because in the movie without giving a lot of stuff away it's procedural it was by body parts but like i said they probably did a 3d model and did it that way but i'm just trying to show you how to do it 2d without any other plugins, without a 3D program or a 3D model. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is just add a little bit of camera shake because it's too still because it was on a tripod, it looks boring. So I went to videocopilot.net, they have a free preset folder. What we're gonna do first is get this composition, drag it into a new comp. That's gonna create two comps. In the second comp, like I said, I downloaded Video Copilot's Aftershake. Go ahead and do that. Drag and drop that to the standing. Let me see, that didn't do it right. Is it the null? There you go, it's the null. So if you press zero, should have a little bit of shake there. Pretty cool. 
And then when it goes to the whole scatterized, it's gonna look a little bit better. And you're gonna see some edges there. We're gonna fix that in a second. There you go. It looks a little bit better. And I know it stops, but you can just, you know, trying to make it short for you. And you can fix that pretty much just by scaling it to like 105 or even 103 until that black bars are gone. Yeah, it looks like it's still showing. So maybe 105 was good. All right, well, I hope you guys learned something new today. And if you are interested, make sure you like this video and leave comments to see if you want to see like another version of this by using an external plugin. See you guys later.